the Joe Rogan experience? I don't know if you knew, but I used to um, do tournament fighting. Uh, Karate style, yes. right? Yeah, yeah. And the reason, I, the, what discouraged me or, or made me know that I didn't want to be a fighter is just what you described. The anxiety? It's, oh. Yeah. It was, it was paralyzing. Mm. It was paralyzing. Yeah. I mean, um, I'd be frozen with, and it, it's it's so crazy. I mean, the last term I was in Ed Parker's uh, International Karate Championships in uh, Long Beach, California. And I remember they had to fight until my feet were stuck. And I was a Taekwondo black belt. But my feet were frozen to the fucking mat. I couldn't lift them. My legs weighed a thousand pounds each, man. I was so paralyzed because all these people, it was mm. all these people were around. And I was so afraid that I was going to do something to embarrass myself. Mm. And I'm like, oh my God, everybody's looking. And you know, it's a bunch of matches going on at the same time. Yeah. But it felt like everybody was looking at me. And I'm like, man, they're going to watch me do something. My technique's going to be wrong. or it's got, I'm just going to fuck up in front of him. The, the, the fear was paralyzing. I'm like, you know, I can't fucking do this. I'm not cut out to be a fighter, man. I just can't. The pressure just kicked my ass. It's a, it's a hard thing to overcome. <laughs> oh, my it's, God. It's hard to sort your way through it. And it's, what's really hard for a lot of fighters is coming back from a loss. Oh, you know, yeah. They get beat up and smashed, and then then they have to come back and figure out a way through, you know. And um, especially a devastating loss, a close yeah. decision, yeah, but a devastating loss. Do you know who Raymond Daniels is? Of course, there the goat. Go. Did you see his fight this past weekend? Did you see that seven hundred and twenty degree punch? Um, I mean, so go I, to Bellator, find that clip. Man, I left. Well, you know, we won't be able to show it, right? Yeah. Show you guys. Again, yeah, just yeah. show us. Yeah. So, for for folks who don't know, well, the re one of the reasons I brought up Raymond Daniels is Raymond <sighs> Daniels. Oh, he's a Bellator kickboxing champion now. He lost in devastating fashion to Nikki Holtzkin, who's uh, another world champion, yeah. and uh, also to Joseph Valtellini, who's another world champion. So when he was making the transition from karate champion to kickboxing champion, he had some stumbling. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It didn't didn't go one hundred percent smooth. Right. But that, but that guy's got an iron will. Man, um, stunt coordinators in movies. Here it is. Watch this. Look at Ray McDan Raymond Daniels. Well, highlights. Watch this again. Look at that. <laughs> That's fucking It's fucking crazy. He went for a 360 yeah. roundhouse kick. Bam. The dude wasn't there. And then he continued to spin further. Yeah. And then boom. I mean, that is insane. That is such an insane. And to oh. land a punch at the end of that. Yeah. I mean, that is so bananas. And he landed a spinning back kick to the body right before, before he did that, that too. Yeah. yeah, I mean, he did a thing. Find the thing he did in um, in in uh, Glory. He did a jumping side kick, spinning back kick combination where he touched yeah. him. He touched him with the front leg and then spun in the air and spinning back kick. There it is, right here. Yeah, I mean, this is fucking yeah, it's, it's, crazy. It's, yeah. He oh, he, oh well, yeah, here, right, watch right, watch right. how he does. This. Let let this go. Here it goes. Watch. He touches him. Tap. Ping. Oh, I mean, that is movie shit. And to do yeah. that to a world class no, kickboxer that's, like that's that. That's what I'm saying. I mean, the, the movie the stunt coordinators are looking at his highlights. <laughs> Artie goes so high crazy. to come up with you know fight scenes. Yeah. This dude is he does stuff that they don't even do in the movies in a real fight. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, man, he's hard to handle. He, he, he I gave a. a a pep talk or speech sent to a group of fighters and he was in the group that came out and then I got I got to meet I was like man I don't know I was a fan a fanboy big time like, oh Ray McDaniels Ray McDaniels I he's a bad motherfucker him. oh he's bad I love watching those guys and like guys like Michael Venom Page who's another one who has those karate skills but then they're learning all the the skills of mma yeah and then you see like man if you don't know that karate style and he knows mma like you're kind of fucked because oh, they, yeah. they do shit that's like outlandish 